how would Ross approach large mix sets out and about? I, I don't like clubs and loud bars either, but I find myself feeling impotent when uh, facing mix sets at chill patio bars, restaurants, and so on. Mm -hmm. that, that's what we did. Okay. Chill patio okay. bars, restaurants. So this is not this is set. not my strong suit. I have done it with it. Cer there's certain. Okay, this is not my strong suit. Learn from mystery if you want to learn this. However, that said, that said, there's certain contexts where it's doable. And I'm just going to give you the narrow context where it is doable. So again, I live in Southern California. I'm here in San Diego. I think it's a California thing. Women have these events where they're in cacao circles and we're all holding hands and we're chanting and we're all in a nice trance state. And you can go and you can talk to they're all in a trance, whether they're in a group or whether they're on their own. And you can start, I call it steal the teacher's anchors. So I don't look at the women. I look at the teacher and I look at what they're doing with their speech. I look at their gestures. I look at their facial expressions and I just fire off those anchors. I do their facial expressions. I do their, their self touches. I speak in their cadence. And the women are reacting to me the way they react to the teacher. So now I've got them eating out of the palm of my hand. Now, that's in that context. When it comes, if you want to learn clubs, bars, go see Eric. I don't do that stuff. I never claimed to be able to do it. He's the master. He and Baxter and a Blaze. Blaze is hey, your other? A Blaze. And a Blaze. Go see Eric. If you don't want to work in those environments, come see me. And also, I have respectfully, many... why not both in this? Why case? not both? Why not why both? Not? Because I, I believe strongly that a lot of the patterns, a pattern to me, I'm going to define as a gambit, which is a game piece, and it can fit in many different phases, right? An opener can be used to open, or it's a short story. You can use it later as well to fill time. That's what... Uh, I believe is our commonality. We both have created gambits that you memorize and recite, uh, uh, you know, with with uh, good delivery, in order to come off calm, cool, and collected. No ums, ahs, or pauses, awkward pauses, because you've taken the time to practice your gambits. If you fill your timeline with gambits that you have prepared, you won't have awkward pauses that can lose the set. You know, well, you talk for 10 minutes with the girl and, it, you know, nice meeting you. Goodbye. And off they go. You want to create some sort of uh, investment. So moving to a sit down and having something to say with her, to ask her questions, to get to know her at a genuine level. Uh, that's that's something that should be in your timeline for every pickup as waypoints. I agree with that. I would just slightly modify it by saying we're, we're not. I don't know what you mean by gambit. We're talking directly to the unconscious mind. It's something I lifted from Milton Erickson's work, who was to hypnosis, what uh, Einstein was to physics. So we're doing something a little bit deeper than that. We're directly the, addressing the unconscious mind, dropping suggestions to get emotional responses, flows of feeling going in the body. Her pussy is wet. She feels warmth and heat in her breast. She's visualizing fucking you all sorts of shit you can get really really quickly but i don't see why not maybe one day in the future we'll fucking work together who knows that would be yeah. and that would be an awesome thing who, Russ, who, I, I don't know if people know this but we've done it in the past you know we've shared the same stage at different times so uh why not do that again why not perspective why not i again? bet you would get i bet we would get a huge audience for that but in any case um yeah, 